last night, we brought you the arrest of a couple in Alamance County accused of using fraudulent papers to enroll a Nigerian teen in Eastern Alamance High School, all for his athletic ability. Sheriff Terry Johnson says that R.S. Hines and Brandy Thomason also tried to enroll three young girls in that school. The sheriff says the girls had problems with their paperwork. They were not enrolled. The sheriff's office says a tip from today may have helped them locate those girls. We're told the student athlete was living in a home in Mebane, unresponsive, un unsupervised, I should say, with other teens. Now today, the sheriff explained to us what the teen may have experienced. But you know, hey, you're a kid over here in America and your family's in another foreign country and you either do what I tell you to do or, you know, we don't feed you, we don't clothe you and you have no place to go. And uh, I think that is some of the things uh, that has been used here uh, in this particular case. Sheriff Johnson says the couple are also being investigated for human trafficking in Robinson County involving other teenagers. They are both out on reduced bond tonight. Hines returned home after posting bail today. That's where reporters caught up with him to get his side of the story. Samina Ingle is live tonight from Alamance County with that portion of the case. Samina. Well, yeah, we've been outside Heinz's home in Mebane for several hours now, hoping to speak with him about the ongoing investigation and the allegations against him, but there's been no sign of him. He did speak with the Raleigh affiliate earlier today, though, saying that he didn't do anything wrong and that he never falsified documents to enroll the teen from Nigeria at Eastern Alamance High School. The kid know that. He know the truth. Guys know the truth. So, you know, uh, the truth would come out. Well, Heinz told the reporter that he's opened up his home as a safe haven for kids and that he's been helping kids for a long time. Reporting live in Mebane, I'm Samina Engel, WXII 12 News.